Hey there, kids. It's time for step two. Um, so far, we've done this. We wrote, I can't imagine my life without, hard to do that backwards, and put a bubble or a shape around it. And so this, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the outside and draw lines going from my bubble to the edge of the paper. And I'm going to use some straight lines and some zigzag lines and some wavy lines. You can use whatever lines you want. You can make thick lines and <clears throat> thin, thin lines as well. I'm always starting with a pencil, so in case I make any mistakes that I don't like, I'm going to put a straight line here. And then I'm going to put another straight line here. I'm having a hard time going all the way that, to the edge of my paper because the table stops. A straight line here, a straight line here, 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 and here, and here. And now I'm going to make some wavy lines in between. You can do this any way you want. Just make sure you have some lines going from the edge to your bubble. So I made some straight lines with a big space between them. And I made some wavy lines with a small space between them. And if I wanted to, I could even add some zigzag lines somewhere. Totally up to you. But that's the next step, adding the lines. When you're done with your lines, with your pencil, and go back with your pen and trace over the lines. Ms. Cooster is trying to hurry because it's not all that much fun <laughs> watching somebody else do what you get to do. Yes, if you are more you are working more slowly than Miss Cooster, then you will be working neater than Miss Cooster. Right? Right. All right. So now I have. my paper like this and the spaces that I have between the lines that's where I'm going to write my words and my ideas okay